We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come on here and spill some tea with you guys. So as you guys all know, this past weekend was Oscar weekend. The Oscars were on Sunday and it was a real cool affair. Um, I didn't get a chance to live tweet it, but I did catch it. And I think one of my favorite Oscar moments was finding out that Tiffany Haddish was half Eritrean. I did not know that. Her outfit was beautiful. Being that I grew up in the Twin Cities, I have a lot of Eritrean friends. So it was really cool to hear her, you know, talk about her father and his culture and everything else. So go ahead and check out this video, Tiffany Haddish talking about her Eritrean heritage. Check this out. Yes, my father is from Eritrea and he passed away last year and he said one day I would end up here and if I ever end up at the Oscars to honor my people, so I'm honoring my fellow Eritreans. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, Alright, so you guys that. just saw that video She just looks so happy And I'm glad to see her winning And doing her thing But I think the biggest shock of the night Was the fact that Kobe Bryant Yes, honey, the GOAT Is there nothing that he won't do? He basically won an Oscar for a short film that he created called Dear Basketball. And when I tell you, Kobe went up there and he was so happy. It's just something about Kobe that I liked. I know he was catching a lot of shade. Um, the Washington Post were talking about, you know, his past rape allegations and the hypocrisy of Hollywood. I don't understand what, you know, something that happened in 2003 has to do with 2018, especially being that the charges were dropped, okay? You know, is he faithful? Obviously not, okay? But I just felt like that was just really sad that people were pulling up his past because he was winning an Oscar I for one was very happy for him and I one thing I love about Kobe is he's just himself he just does not really care what people think about him and I love the fact that he speaks multiple languages go ahead and check out his speech right here and to my wife Vanessa our daughters Natalia Gianna and Bianca Ti amo con tutto il mio cuore you are my inspiration thank you so much guys thank you All right, so you guys just saw Kobe Bryant's acceptance speech, and I thought that was cool. But the big winner of the night, the person I was so excited to see if he was going to win because he was nominated for three different categories, was Jordan Peele, okay? So Jordan Peele won the Best Original Screenplay Award, and he got an Oscar for Get Out. I mean, it was just so wonderful to see him go up there, and then Daniel Kaluga jumped up, and they kind of, you know, gave each other, you know, a hug. And you can tell that everybody was rooting for Jordan Peele, and I just thought it was so awesome that he won. You know, during the the times when he was on Key and Peele, you heard more about Key. It was always about Key. So it was really good to see Jordan basically stand in his own and show people that, yes, I can be in front of the camera, but check what I can do behind the camera. He wrote, produced, directed. So all of his hard work truly paid off, and I loved his acceptance speech. Go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just saw his speech, and I love the fact that he took time out to thank the fans. I love the fact that he took time out to thank each and every person who recommended his movie, who told a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, you know what I'm saying, and to everybody who bought a ticket and put their butts in the seats. I love the fact that he thanked people like me and you guys, because if it was not for the fans, if it was not for people like me and other people shouting the movie out, retweeting the movie, talking about it on social media, it would not have gotten the buzz that it did. So I'm really happy that he took some time out to thank the little people, you know what I'm saying, but I'm, I'm really excited to see what he does next with this. He definitely deserves it. You know what I'm saying? This movie was just very different. And when he said that he, you know, he almost scrapped it. You know, he, he wrote it 20 different times. He didn't know if it would be good enough. It just shows you that nobody's perfect and we all have self-doubt. But if you put that self-doubt away and you put your best foot forward, look where he's at now. Had he just scratched the project and said, you know what, I could never, you know, do this. I can never be a writer. I can never be a director. He believed enough in himself where other people believed in him and got behind him and got behind this project. And I'm really happy that he was able to win an Oscar. So kudos to you, Jordan Peele. I cannot wait to see, you know, what he comes out with next. But I really think that one of the pictures that struck a chord with me is when somebody took a snapshot of Key. He was at, you know, one of the 
little Oscar parties watching this live. And you can tell that he is genuinely happy for his boy. You know what I'm saying? I want a friend. I want a damn man who's happy to see my accomplishments like that. That's a true friend. Somebody who's happy for you as if they were themselves winning that award. So I really love that picture. And it just shows how genuine their relationship is. How there's no jealousy and animosity. He's supporting his boy. Because he knows when it comes down to it, if his boy looks good, he definitely looks good. So I can't wait to see what else they come up with in the future. Now, one thing that did irritate me during the Oscars is that basically, once again, the Kardashians caught themselves trying to steal the show, okay? They basically took to social media to announce that Chloe was going to have a girl. Now, if you guys remember a few weeks ago, it had came out that she was having a boy. Her and Tristan Thompson were having a son. And so everybody was like, okay, cool. So my thing is, why did y'all come out a few weeks ago talking about she was having a boy only to come out Oscar night during, you know, this big win and this big moment to announce that she's having a girl? You know what I'm saying? Congratulations, Chloe, but you could have kept that shit until Monday morning. I get so tired of them trying to make these grand announcements doing, you know, huge things. Just like with Kylie Jenner when she announced that she gave birth to her secret baby, that was during the Super Bowl. And now a month later, you have Kim and Chloe coming out and announcing that Chloe's baby is going to be a girl after they initially told the public it was going to be a boy. So the whole situation is a hot damn mess. Go ahead and check out this dang on video. Y'all just saw that damn video. I swear the Kardashians would do anything to make it about them, okay? If they see other folks trending and getting props and it has nothing to do with the Kardashians or Jenners, they will find some way to make themselves trend. And that's exactly what they did Sunday night. On top of the Oscars trending and Jordan Peele trending, Kim Kardashian and Chloe were also trending, okay? So these women definitely know how to play social media. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning the Oscars. You know, how do you feel about Jordan Peele winning? Were you happy? Happy for him. How do you feel about Tiffany Haddish and her dress and what she had to say about her father and his culture? And then how do you feel about Kobe Bryant also winning an Oscar for Dear Basketball? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.